bring in our first segment segment guest, Mr. Harlan Guthrie. Hey! Oh, oh say, say. You're going to stay there. He is. I'm like pushing. He's pushing his way in. Hey, Into the world. Hey, buddy. Like how's it going? Room. Good. How are you, bud? I miss you. Good. We're good. We're, I miss you too, man. It's been a long time. It's Where been a you? long, long time. Harlan and I went to elementary school and high school together. Everywhere. And, uh, and, and we were in Boy Scouts. First wedding. I was the best <laughs> at your first wedding, and uh, and uh, we're getting our uh, we're getting our uh, streamer badge right now, our live streamer badge. What does that mean? What for scouts, mean? for scouts. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, you know, we have to. That's, that's this is how the requirement. We value ourselves as kids. <laughs> how many we're scouts like, look, badges we have? They, we use that as a form of currency up here. Actually, it's, it's you have it's, to wear the sash <laughs> under the t-shirt. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like you can't go to the bank unless you have your. <laughs> Fuck it. Sorry, is this an 18 plus show? I didn't ask. Sorry, oh, it is 18 plus, yeah. but oh, we good. don't oh, say it ever. Fuck, did it's, you it's assumed. Shit. Uh, I didn't know. God I didn't damn know. it. Okay. Start damn over. It. Yeah, let, do yeah. over, do over. Canadians swear a lot. Uh, this is something do I've they? come to realize the more I, I've interacted with. Yeah, well, I mean, because Canadians are more on the you know the UK side, and, and obviously you guys swear. We a lot. do swear a lot. For fuck's sake, you swear a yeah, lot. Yeah, anyway, hi. Thanks for having me, buddy. Nice to see y'all. Yes. And Harlan Guthrie, Gary, have you guys met yet? No, have you I don't officially? officially. Hey, nice to meet okay. you. Okay. It's really cool. Wait, now my Promise. camera's messed up. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. See, I'm <laughs> looking at you and you should be there. But then I have it, to look here. Scoop it is actually kind of trippy. You gotta earn that streaming kind of badge, bro. Yeah. I'm way, I'm way behind G. I'll never I'll hey. get it with my, my so, so acumen. Besides scouts and 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 school and stuff like that, Harlan and I have also been a big part of a group called Invictus, uh, which started out as a role playing game stream every Wednesday that was just a way for us to stay in touch, and it has grown into so much more than just role playing games. But um, one of the 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 offshoots of Invictus is malevolent. You see it there at the bottom of the screen, that way. Oh yeah, that oh, way. Wait. That way. Whoa. Malevolent. Yeah, shit. And uh, Malevolent is the, the audio way. drama. Me, I'm looking this no, way. You're looking the right way. You're good. looking the right way. You're good. You're good. Uh, you're peaking, Malevolent is... You're peeking over your own uh, your own uh, label there, though. No, no you're good. No, oh, no. No. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. This is Harlan Guthrie. Malevolent. Yeah, and and it's, a, it's an audio drama, and I've listened to up to uh, episode 49, Yeah, you've listened to a lot. I'm really impressed. Thank I have listened to most support. of it, but I've got to re-listen to it. I've got to re-listen. To, Did you listen uh, to the remaster? To, I have not listened to the remaster. So good. Well, we're, we're, well, we're having a listening party. Oh, fuck, man. Harlan, why don't you give us and, and the listeners who have not heard anything about Malevolent, why don't you give them a little bit of a synopsis? What is this show all about? What is Malevolent? Wow. Wow. I mean, how can you <laughs> even explain something who with is? Who is? Who is? What is first, we must ask ourselves, why? what is audio? And that really, <laughs> no, Malevolent. Uh, Malevolent is an audio drama that uh, follows a protagonist named Arthur Lester set in the 1930s, as he sort of navigates the mysterious circumstances that have befallen him, uh, namely being the loss of his sight. So at the beginning of what you will eventually hear, uh, this, this character loses his sight and a voice within his head needs to sort of describe the world around to him. And uh, so it's sort of my way to have a narrative device without just speaking directly to it. But that's a bit meta. Anyway, it's very fun, very spooky. It's got a bit of a monster of the week feel. So every few episodes, I do an arc where there's, you know, a wraith or a ghost or a tentacle monster. It's got huge Lovecraftian influences, uh, but it's a good time. And if you like audio, <sighs> fuck, you like. I, I love audio. I love yeah. audio. I'm listening to some right now. Me too. I'm listening to Malevolent right now. <laughs> Are you right now? Right now. I yeah. should talk alongside it and just listen. Really fuck it up. Listen, listen, Arthur. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you again. <laughs> It's so true. People who have listened to it, the, the the entity is very aggressive. So if you like, if you like being, which is it, sadist or a masochist? Which is the one that <laughs> likes getting hit? I don't know. But if you like uh, that masochist. one, masochist, you'll like that one. If you're that one, you'll like it. Hey, well, this is one. this is actually a really cool feature of the show. So so you can listen to Malevolent on different platforms. There is the Spotify version, which is free. Um, but then you can also support on Patreon, and you get the the episode sooner and. There is a there's a special component 
Yeah, can you a talk a bit intro, about that? Outro. Yeah, so so the the that's the theme of the show. However, the way it's sort of designed is it's short ten minute episodes that I release first to the Patreon supporters, um, where they get to make a choice at the end of those 10 minute episodes, wow. whether it's open the door or shoot the gun or like, there's a lot of variants. And then I write the story based on what they've decided. So based on those branching choices, the voice that berates you, uh, sort of punishes you for making a bad choice, which happens more often than not. Uh, and also allows the story to sort of continue. But the real reason I'm here is to talk about something a little bit more exciting, and that Ooh. is the remaster. Someone yes. has sprinkled a little bit of extra audio powder. Listen, <laughs> audio, audio powder. powder. That's how we do I it like here. It. I like <laughs> to call it angel dust. Angel dust. We all thrown out <laughs> audio powder. <laughs> we snorted audio. We snorted some audio <laughs> powder. You guys don't do that. <laughs> and That's and where remastered we came it. From. Yeah, no, the remaster is is something that I've been working with these lovely gents and, and everybody uh, about beefing up and, and making malevolent into something really good, something better. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I... I I've, There's I some cool new like, features, too. It's uh, yeah. it's the, the audio is, is being remastered and rebalanced. Yeah. Uh, and terrible. then there's also um, the music um, from the the original is uh, being retweaked who, who with a bit of an ah, orchestral yeah, who, flair. Who did that um, audio originally? It's so uh, Someone you I know, I, Someone I, I love didn't, very, very much. I didn't want to, I, uh, you know, that's... Oh, listen to that. Where's that beautiful that? There music once, coming from? There was once a man who Justin. played the piano. He didn't know what he was playing about, but he had a feeling in his heart. That he had to express. He was given no guidance whatsoever. Tears. All he was given was an old EP of Chopin, who made EPs back in the day. It was a single. It was a hit. It was the B side. <laughs> it was the B side of ABBA. And he said, "Perhaps if I make intervals with my left hand, or arpeggiations rather, and a soaring, sad melody with my right." Arpeggiations? Come on. Arpeggiations. It's worth it. Don't get that, that man's That man's name was 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 Justin Thomas James. And that's uh he's in this I room. Sound effects. Yeah. Ah, he's that's in the cool. house. Uh, he's in the house. Uh, he's in the track. Track. you know what? Harley fucked up everything. He just Justin. he just shat all over your your performance, man, and I really don't appreciate that. Me? Right? Yeah, you I, just did that. You just we, did that. Would never. No. Well, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You know what? I'm what I'm really excited about actually is is that that music, like I I you're giving him the eye right now? Are you are you or you're giving no, me the I, eye right no, now? No, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking at the chat actually. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> that that, that is this? someone reading something far away look that like what is it? Ah Jesus. That's the music is here. being re is is being reimagined mm -hmm. by the incredible imagination of Aaron J. Morton. And I cannot wait to hear what he comes up with. Yes, because that guy. Yeah. Woo, the proper, the, I believe the proper term is reimaginized. And yes, reimaginized. Um, re so what we were just listening yeah. to, if I'm not mistaken, was actually Oren, Oren's Aaron's rendition of the theme. No, that was nope. actually Justin's. That was mine. Okay, so that was Justin's. All right, yeah. but uh, Aaron has, has redone some of the the piano, like using. A, a baby grand and then he's also orchestrating one. the theme which we haven't heard yeah. yet that's almost ready he, he aaron he uh, it has a good imaginizate imaginizator yeah. he installed he a new imaginator on ebay he's yeah. upgraded gotten rid of that yeah. old wish version yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but but, wish. but credit to justin because his original composition which I'm not. It doesn't hope doesn't sound too lame to call it composition because it technically was. Sure. Yeah. 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 It definitely is. It technically, composed. it was awful. It was terrible. No, I'm kidding. It was. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, don't give me any any credit. Build you up. Made me physically <laughs> sick. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> not the crowd's turning against me. Yeah. No, they're. What booing happened? They're booing him. They're booing him. Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. You, Justin, no, I, I, listen. Justin Thank is my world. You. He. 
I got listen. Oh, hey, buddy. History with this man. Hi. He's my favorite. Uh, no, but history. it was fantastic. It was really, really good. It added so much of the story and the context to all the episodes. And that's why uh, a lot of the music was worked in purely because of hearing the piece that he originally did. And I was like, oh, I want more of this. And hey, Justin, can you do it more and longer and slower and all that kind of stuff? So no, absolutely. Justin was the biggest contributing force to Malevolent besides myself. That's awesome. It is, it is an wow, honor to be on the show. Level, guys. This is, yes. yeah. well, they're, they're excited. excited. There's a lot of people here. So, so do we have a clip? Actually, I would love to, because, because I mean, this, it's, I, I did some music for it, but to say that I was the second contributor, like everything, this show is a one man show. Everything is is written. It, it is. It is um, performed. Acted, acted, performed. It is uh, all of the sound design and um, the, yeah, I guess audio what else magic. is there? The, the audio magic. magic. It's, it's all, it's all Harlan. So what you guys are going to hear is a, is, is besides some music is a one person show. And uh, can you roll the clip, Ahmed? Arthur, would you just listen to me for once? Fine. Arthur, douse the flight. skin was sagging and old. Ancient, even. A woman? Yes. The widow? No, it... Well, I don't know. Is she gone? Yes. <sighs> Light the flame again. What room are we... Does it look like... I think it might be her room. I only glanced around this room when we entered. It seemed to be similar, but the closer I look, it looks as though a woman has lived here at one point. How do you? The other room had a robe for a man. This one has woman's clothing strewn about the floor. Strewn about? Yes, I thought it looked like the other room, but this is in a much worse state. How? It's difficult to see against the tint of the lamplight, but the color of the bedspread, it... It's stained a deep brown and, and torn, as if the insides of the mattress have been taken out. The bed itself is worn flat, nearly. The table has been knocked over, and the walls... The walls have deep gouges in them. As if someone were trying to escape, or...? As if someone were counting. <sighs> Shh. Spooky as fuck. There you have That's awesome. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. You were far too kind. I was very surprised at the, the choice of the beginning because... What was the choice? Of the, I forgot. Just just like two lines of dialogue and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because I because one of the... I think the thing that's really appealing to the people who have been following the show so far is there's this long sort of mystery that's being built. And mm -hmm. we're diving into what I like most about, frankly, role-playing games, which is, uh, you know, the idea of investigating a murder or something, which is Call of Cthulhu, which is sort of what this is based around. Uh, I, I like that to sort of fall out for the listeners as they're going through it. You know, I really love solving a murder. I do it in my spare time, not effectually because mm. I'm playing board mm. games and, this, and the such, but uh, it's really nice. And I like the viewers to be following along and sort of trying to solve it. So I wanted a clip that sort of made it sound spooky, but didn't give too much of the, of the big twists away. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, there Still. is some really i uh some of the scenes are very suspenseful because there's a meta aspect and harlan kind of touched on it earlier of not being able to see anything it's it's just hearing and the character sharing that 
sensory deprivation with you, the listener, yeah, is, uh, is a really a cool experience. Yeah, eventually you'd run out of murders, uh, Brandon. Great, great point, Brandon. It's not solving a murder necessarily. I'm just sort of using that as a sort of a justification to talk about the grander mystery, which is just, I don't know, are we supposed to be interacting with the people? Yes, of course. No. Don't look don't at look them. Ignore them. Disregard Brandon. He is no one. Yeah. He's, He's a test and you failed. <laughs> just a Turing test. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The um, audio quality yeah. is oh, amazing. Yeah. Like, by the way, to hear the remaster. By the way, there is murder though. Oh Just yeah, most definitely. Don't want to don't want to scare people off. There is murder. There's yeah. murder. There's yeah. everything. There's eldritch horrors. <laughs> yeah, there's there's murder. <laughs> yeah, there's murder. All right. So awesome. I'm like I'm really fucking excited to to get this out there. So I, I listened to the first remastered bunch that's the first 10 or nine episodes first 10 episodes the first 10 episodes so it's about an out like you cut out all the narration in between the episodes that was like that was basically addressing the people who were making the decisions and it exactly. just flows it flows continuously and it's very nice um and, and i've added uh some additional scenes in context it's this mm. is really a truly a remaster when jeff and i and justin talked about this I, and obviously bringing it to your platform i wanted to make sure that there was stuff added so it's it's less rushed in certain places it's a little bit more under you know it's a, it understands what it is now too so i've added some scenes with a little more context obviously the oh, sound nice. effects quality has just gone i think there's like 80 new sound effects in it so i replaced a ton of it um it's really it's uh, your it's really snyder exciting. cut of of your own thing yes it's my own snyder mm. cut to be <laughs> hashtag relevant <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing that's going on right now. I never even saw the fucking first one. So. Me neither. I, I yeah. like this. It was awful. It was awful. Are you booing because oh, I didn't see it? <laughs> they're, they're, it? They're booing the uh, yeah the movie itself. It was it was terrible. I, it was, yeah. I'm not into the whole shit. DC. I, I liked I like Marvel, but the DC is eh. yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so Malevolent's going to be about an hour 35, hour 37, I think. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's mm. it's going to be good value. So you guys yeah. keep an eye on the newsletter. See when it comes, when, keep an eye out for it. April 8th is when we're releasing it. All right. There Pinnacle we have it. stream on Twitch. Pinnacle stream on Twitch. Pinnacle, Pinnacle stream, stream on Twitch, on Twitch tomorrow. Oh, shit. I totally forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so we're we're going to rewind just a little bit to a different segment. We're Speaking of role-playing games. Speaking of role-playing games, on t tomorrow at, what is it, 4 o'clock Eastern? 4 o'clock Eastern, we are going to be on a stream with Pinnacle Entertainment Group. They are the guys who uh, are behind the Windigo Tales that we've been releasing inter intermittently mm. over the past few weeks. Um, and yeah, uh, me and Dory are going to be on the stream. Me and Dory, we be on stream. And yes. we are going to talk about yes. Sound <laughs> Theater. We're going to talk about the Windigo Tales. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the new uh, release of their the, uh, an RPG book that they just released for... Uh, East Texas University. So, um, East yeah. Texas. East, is that yeah, like, East Texas University. Is that the theme East of Texas? the book? I'm, yeah, the is that so like it, a text it's, book the name, it's the name of the series. Role playing. So it's basically, uh. it's basically like a Texas college Buffy. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so Dory has narrated for the first time um, ever, right? And so this is her, her dipping her toes into narration, her first short, short story called... Uh, on the flip side and awesome. we're going to be releasing that relatively soon we're, we're not exactly sure what day we don't want to disrupt our necessary evil series so i think it'll be right after necessary evil we take a little break we do on the flip side then we continue with windigo tales uh for the other two sh collections of short stories so please uh go where where can they find a link to their channel or do we have any info on that? uh well newsletter hang on these are my words that I'm saying, not the private chat. Okay, so Emily's gonna get it, and we're gonna put it, it put the link in the description of this stream. Yes. yes, yes, that's what we're gonna do. So you guys watch for it. Maybe ten minutes, it'll be there. We'll okay. Remind you. Fast forward from the rewind. <laughs> 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 
Mm-hmm. One done. Segment oh, hey guys, done. back three. to malevolent. Back to malevolent. Just if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out on Spotify, um, and and give it a listen. And um, and very soon it'll be or, available. Actually, I would say if you, I would say wait for the remaster because the Harlan wait for the remaster. If you're gonna do it, do the Snyder cut, right? Fuck yeah. Joss Whedon. Do yeah, do do the way. Do the way that it should be done. Do the way it was meant to be done. It's weird, man. Just do it. (laughs) No, but April 8th, it's a short time to wait, and uh, it's worth it. Right. Indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I I can attest. I've listened to both. The remaster is sick. Super sick. All right. So what is next? American Fork. Yes, and Harlan is going to stick with us for this next segment. Guys, if that's okay. Hey. Hey. Do you mind if I stick around? Well, you maybe hang re-roll? around, buddy. Stick around, Harlan. <laughs> stick around. Guys, this is so unscheduled, but maybe I'll just stick around <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can. 